Hey guys, Zach Mueller here, and welcome back to another video. And today we are doing unique battle jacket ideas. Now, for this video I'm not going to wear that one. For this video I'm actually going to wear one that is not metal. For a reason. Um, on better. And... <laughs> Should put some for the video. But yeah, here's what I've been working on. It doesn't have a lot to it, but it is a Star Wars metal jacket. Um, this is one of the unique ideas, and I'm gonna be checking them off as I go. But I figure I'll cover this one first since I actually have one. Now, as you can tell up here, I have the um. TIE Fighter with the date that Star Wars came out uh, next to the Star Wars thing that actually came with this. Uh, I used to use this as a jacket a lot, um, but I eventually just started hanging out and I was like, oh, it's just a shirt now. But now I've started using this jacket again and I was like, yeah, I can throw some Star Wars patches on it and stuff. I mean, I've got like two others I need to throw on here, which are. Uh, Chewbacca and the Millennium Falcon. Oh, and my back patch, which is Darth Vader skateboarding. Uh, it's from a shirt when I was younger that I really did. I really loved the design, and I couldn't part with it when I got too big for it, so I was like, eh, I'll keep the design. But yeah. So, like, with the Star Wars inspired jacket, you can always. Either have dark side or light side, which mine's gonna be a mix and it's just gonna be all around. Um, you could go with the first four movies, so four, five, and six. You could go with one, two, and three. You could go with seven, eight, and nine. Or you could go with the TV shows or something like that. The Mandalorian specifically, you know, like stuff like that. You could try and do that, but I mean, I'd suggest doing like the movies and the TV shows and mix it up. And then you just include stuff, whether it's joke or not, you include it and you. I have some Star Wars coffee, and I want the one with, like, Dark Maul on it. Because I, I, I'm a really big fan of Dark Maul. Okay, so that's one idea I've had. Another, it's horror. Now, I've seen this one. Black Metal Werewolf has done this, and I know other people have done horror jackets. I actually plan to do one myself. Um, this one is just, you put horror movie patches you like. You get a back patch that's a horror movie you really like. Uh, mine would be Pet Cemetery, personally. I love Pet Cemetery. And then you can just... With that one, it's you stick to one patch per movie. But not like movie series. So you could have Halloween 1, 2, and 3. Try the 13th 1, 2, and 5 if you wanted, you know. Have it so it's unique and have it your own. But keep it to one per movie. So it's like, you're gonna have Halloween 1, the poster is a patch. You don't have a Halloween 1 Michael Myers. You have a Halloween 2 Michael Myers, which is slightly different, so, uh, like skin color and color. Um, or you have, like, Breeze poster, and you alternate between it, if the mask changes drastically. Because there's sometimes where it doesn't. But that one is just, you include what you like, you put pins. You can, of course, put horror-inspired metal bands on there, but mine will be strictly horror. Just in horror movie patches. Pinhead from Hellraiser, you know, all that good stuff. Now, onto what I was just talking about. Horror inspired. Bands who are horror inspired all on a jacket. So think Alice Cooper, Rob Zombie, Death SS, um, Car Gongering could be included, um, Lordy, maybe. Um, any bands that have horror lyric themes, a very old ghost behind the farm has some like, horror lyric themes. Um, let's see if I can look on my jacket and find any actually. I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any. Uh, you just, Exhumed. Exhumed is a very good one actually. And that one you can include and, okay, sorry, I just, doesn't feel comfortable to not have zombie patches on a certain thing. Okay. 
Plus, it, it's a little uncomfortable in sitting down. Also, I fully fix up the, call, uh, the cuts like I want to. But yeah, just horror-inspired artists. Uh, you include, like, the Tomega Theorem of uh, Celtic Frost. You include that cover because it was made by H.R. Geiger, who also made the aliens for Alien. Or at least made the portrait that inspired them. So I would say include that, include horror inspired art such as stuff from Zoom, um, Rob Zombie who has very obvious horror influences in his stuff. But yeah, that's the horror inspired. Something I'll actually be working on, um, hopefully soon, but I mean, I'm already working on so many. I just bought new patches for the main jacket, this one. Um, but it's going to be kind of hard as I'm just trying to get more and more. And I'm seeing these ones that I keep getting, and I'm like, they would fit so perfectly in that space. And uh, I'm also going to be making a video showing you how to optimize space once I get more. Because trust me, there is so much space on here that I didn't use. Now, I mean, of course I had space between certain patches, and that's just all for design purposes in my eyes. But like, I, I don't know about over here yet, because I haven't some stuff, but I mean, like, right here in this corner where Ministry, Carter, and, and Chosen of all meet, I could probably put a name patch, actually, a small name patch, such as Burzum, Red Fang, Blue Steel, maybe Zyklon B, but I don't know about that one. I'd have to see, like, when I get Red Fang or Burzum. Uh, I know Blue Steel has one, but I, I have the list of Blue Steel, so. And, of course, above, back into black, I'm thinking about getting a custom patch made that uh, was actually given to me by my mom, it was an idea, and it was do type O in red and then sew the border in white, sew it in white, and then do negative in white and sew it in red, and that would fill up this back area. I have to get into the contact with the person who make, custom makes my patches so that she can hopefully make one. Um, but yeah, that, sorry, off topic from the video's concept. Um, I'm just going to include these two in the same thing. Marvel and DC Comics. You can do them both in the same one, have a just a purely comic-related best battle jacket, whatever. Or you can do Marvel or DC, or you can have all three if you'd like. You can have like a Marvel versus DC, Marvel's on this side, DC's on this side, and you have your favorites on each one. Or you have DC and you can do a heroes versus villains, uh, you can have strictly villains, you can have strictly heroes, or you can have just a bunch, so it's like, it just, it's all up to you. You customize it, I'm giving ideas. See, I like giving ideas. Um, places you've been, and like, this one I'm kind of doing with my bag down here. I mean, I've got an ostrich land patch from Solving. Uh, I went there, I think, two years ago now. And I saw the patch and I was like, I'll pick that up. I, I didn't put it on my jacket because it wasn't because it wasn't metal related. I was just like, it didn't work for me. And I got this bag last year and I was like, you know, this is a denim bag. And I've got patches that I don't. I haven't sewn onto my jacket. Why not sew them onto here? So I started thin sewing and I really like how it's started to come out since then. Uh, I hope to add more. I have an Arkham Asylum patch that I'm planning on adding. Um, and then there's places I've been that I want to get patches for, or at least get them custom made, hopefully. So yeah, places you've been. So say you visit, like I'm going to be visiting, hopefully visiting Calico Ghost Town, and if they have a patch, I'll buy a patch there. I want to do a Calico Ghost Town patch, you know, add it to my bag. Uh, I visited Las Vegas, get a Las Vegas patch, uh, or get the places I specifically visited there, like the Luxor. Um, but yeah, that one, there's nothing really different you can do. You can do it like special states, I don't know, but it's up to you. Battle jackets are all about making it your own. Next, we've got. WWE. Um, 
How would you do this one? Okay. You could easily do it. Just a bunch of wrestlers you like. Faces on one side, heels on the other. Basically, if you don't know wrestling, face equals good guy, heel equals bad guy. There can be faces who are... There's a face, and then there's a baby face. A baby face is like a completely innocent person, basically. Face can be the hero, like... Hero and like comics type hero. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, the faces can be the... Like the heroes. They can be heroes, or they can be completely innocent. While well, the heels are usually very bad and usually seem irredeemable, but can become faces. There are some in wrestling, uh, Brock Lesnar. Uh, and then there's just some that you see and it's like, no, they wouldn't work as faces. And when they try it, it just doesn't. So, I mean, that would be an interesting idea. You have all heel jacket, all face jacket, heels versus faces, or you just do it randomly throughout. Tribute jacket. Now, what I mean by this, I have multiple meanings behind this. Tribute to one band. So let's say you pick a band that has a lot of patches, a lot of albums, a lot of history. Metallica. I'm just going to give it that because that's an easy one. They've got a bunch of albums. They've got live albums. They've got artwork that you can use. You've got members of the band. You've got different Metallica patches. You've got a bunch of things that can easily work. And... It would be interesting to do, especially if you're a big Metallica fan. If you're not a big Metallica fan, you don't do that. You do tribute jackets for bands you're a big fan of. The other idea I had for this was to make a tribute to all the dead ones. So, you know, people like Euronymous, Dead, Peter Steele, Dimebag Daryl, Vinnie Paul, Lemmy Killmeister. Um, you have them on a jacket as kind of like in a tribute, this is a tribute to all the dead ones out there, you know, uh, Jimi Hendrix, Jim Morrison, all of those, you include it and make it like a tribute to all the dead rockers out there. I'm using rockers as a technical term. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Genre specific. So. This doesn't even have to be metal. You could do a pop, you could do a rap, you could do a country. It wouldn't work as well, at least in my eyes, but I mean, somebody could make it work. But like, what I mean usually is like genre specific. So, in metal, my jacket is a complete mix. My main jacket is a complete mix. My vest is mostly thrash, death, and black. Uh, there's, a, there's some doom and some classic heavy metal thrown in there into a splice. Now, what I mean by a full-on tribute, this is not, or genre specific, sorry, um, what I mean by this is you actually have it like, there will be no death metal, there will be no thrash metal, this is all black metal, this is all death metal, this is all a thrash metal, this is all a classic heavy metal, this is all a kawaii metal, you know? <laughs> Maybe not that last one, but you do that, and you have a lot of bands that you like. Of course you need to know the genre, because you're not going to have 15 Mayhem patches on your black metal. You want to have one band per each, and then you just have your favorite black metal band as your back patch. So mine would probably be uh, Karg Rondgren, Dear Dead, um, or Victoria, how do you pronounce it? Um, that's about it uh, for, as far as like favorite black metal bands. Maybe Mayhem, maybe Dark Throne, you know? Carpathian Forest, actually. I'd probably have Carpathian Forest in my backpack, considering that they're, they work their way up to a favorite really quick. But, yeah. That's what I mean by, like, genre specific. You do it, and you make sure to try and not duplicate patches. Like, you have a tribute patch to, like, a certain member, you can have another tribute patch to another member of the band, you know? So like the whole bed and you're on this situation, you can do that. But I, I still would try to keep it the same. So keep it to one patch per. So don't try to get the Mayhem logo slapped on it. You just have Euronymous from this year to this year, Dead from this year to this year, and it can be your Dead patch and your Euronymous patch. And our last idea. 
These are all ideas just spitballing here. I might eventually do more of these. I don't know. I've exhausted myself on ideas. You know, there's 10 on this list. I actually shortened it down, technically speaking. Probably a good nine, I think. Considering that I mixed the comics together, the comic ones. Now, the other idea is TV shows. Gravity Falls, The Office, Seinfeld, um, you can go with Netflix shows, Disenchanted, uh, Mr. Iglesias, The Big Show Show, uh, you can go with The Simpsons, Family Guy, you know, you just make it, and Gravity Falls is a huge one of mine, so I kind of have that as like a back touch, I think, but you could do that, you could do that, there would be no verses, it would just be, these are TV shows I like on a pass. Where would you wear it? I don't know. Um, Comic Con? Maybe, I don't know. You can also wear the comic jackets there. Star Wars, you can wear to Disneyland. I go to Disneyland a lot, so I mean, I'm gonna wear that down. Or to other horror, horror inspired ones, anywhere. You can wear any of these anywhere. WWE, you can wear it to like a WWE event. Pay per views is being hosted, you wear it there. You know? Um,. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, I know it's a long one, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Uh, these are just ideas spitballing around. Um, I would love to see people do them, but I know some of them aren't going to get done. So anyways, if you do, uh, like the music, check the link in the description below. Thank you guys for letting me use your music. And Facebook and Instagram still have the Battle Jacket contest going on. Uh, as well as you can just post there, say hi, you know, stuff like that. And our recommended album, our recommended album will be Car Gangnam's uh, demo, uh, the Chase Vault Tragedy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.